we both just went to cardiologist at the same time we set an appointment for a cardiologist it's taken this long yeah since the last time we talked to you guys said what we were going to do because of our they just squeezed him in on my appointment i made yeah. months and months ago yeah so we finally get in to see a cardiologist and it's so it's so weird like like we know a lot of information about the carnivore diet. We understand that we're both LMHRs, lean mass hyper responders. Is that what it's called? Yeah, printed out the thing, gave it to yeah. him so he'd have that for the file, brought our blood work. But I tell you, here's what I will tell you. It is not <laughs> comfortable when, <laughs> like, so we're both in the same room. Like we're both doing this together. And and when he, I had to sit at this chair as he's talking to me, <laughs> we said, just had COVID, by the way, and yeah. it's, you know, we just we're tested telling. negative a couple days ago, but a couple last couple of weeks we've been dealing with COVID, so yeah. you hear coughing, that's because of that. COVID lingering cough. Yep. But, so he's in that chair, he's got a mask on, and he's looking at, he hasn't seen her numbers yet, because hers are higher, <laughs> <laughs> but he, he's looking at me, and he's reading this thing, and he goes, your, he says what my number is. You know, it's really high. And then um, I'm telling you. Know, 297 okay. or something. I think yeah, I said, well, we're doing this thing. Here's why I'm doing it. Autoimmune. And, you know, he, go, he looked up over like his mask like this. And he looked up at me like this. And he goes, you're not going to be around. And I'm like, gee, like when you hear that. You're not going to be around to find out what happens yeah. is basically what he said. Yeah, because I said, yeah, we're just, you know, we're doing this and it's helping with autoimmune. And he goes, well, you're not going to be around. To find. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't joking. Like, he was very serious. He was he was concerned. Yeah. And <laughs> but, but when you hear that. But he didn't even know how to spell carnivore. He's never heard of it. He didn't even know how to, I mean. Well, carnivore. No, you were in elementary school. I know that what a carnivore is an herbivore, a carnivore, blah, blah, blah. He had made made Steve spell it twice. Well, there's very few people I think in this, like cardiologist or or the type of doctors that you go to see are gonna are gonna be familiar with it. Very, I can't imagine. It would be great if it would have been. Oh yeah, I know what that is. And That's we had, what we were we, hoping for. Steph had printed up like you know the, the recent studies with the LMHR and the Miami Heart thing, and you know all this stuff that's been coming out recently <clears throat> to support in support of it. And I told him there's a lot of people with you know autoimmune that it definitely helps. You know that's he the, didn't care. No, he just and he this is he in wants his some world, statins or some really expensive medicine that isn't well, first a statin. It, yeah, he did say statins. And it's like, we're like, no. no, if we can just eat a sweet potato once a day and drop ours 400 points, then we might as well just do that rather yeah. do it through diet. Then, you know, but he also get on said, there, well, there's also another, there's injections, there's, but they're uh, very expensive. But the, yeah, no, but I, I don't want I, that either. Want Why that. can't we just have a sweet potato? We're here to, to get the CAC or whatever, whatever that, that, whatever we were hoping contrast. he would tell us what it was, <coughs> CTAC. See, he didn't I know think. what it was. No, but we were hoping he would know what carnivore was and oh, yeah. be like really familiar and know what tests we need to run, do whatever, yep. and how to proceed. No, not at all. No, not. And he was, to be fair, he was concerned about us. Like he's, he thinks we're. He freaking, looked shocked. Yeah, he's 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 very concerned. Steph's got to go back and do a stress test because we have different insurance and mine doesn't allow this other thing that he, that ctac i think is what you get contrast well you're gonna get it thing. too though no i'm getting just a cac oh cac but that's just because <coughs> i don't have any plaque but that won't change anything uh, but you're just gonna tell if you have the soft plaque and that's good and you're older so it's better for you to have it yeah. anyway than makes it chances are we both don't have any so yeah but we're gonna find out but it is it is unnerving to have a doctor say you're not going to be around a cardiologist is, yeah a cardiologist it does there is still something inside you at least for me i can speak for everybody in carnivore there is something that's like it's Eesh. the unknown it's because yeah. it hasn't been around that long the um whole lmhr thing to know what the long-term effect is so since our whole thing with our doctor i've been incorporating some carbs in and we're going to retest 
Steve hasn't, but after this, I think he's he's willing to at least do it before <laughs> well, the next can, round to, of testing. To manipulate that. Just to drop our number doesn't make show, people happy. Yeah, and to show that, okay, that's... A safer know. level, even though if it's not sticking, but still there's a ton of cholesterol floating around in us that is not sticking. It's fluffy. It's not the dangerous kind. It's not causing plaque. All these people that are doing the LMHR studies, yeah. it's not sticking. There's no plaque on their arteries, so they're fine. We're fine. Well, the LMHR um, study and the Miami, when they, the Miami Heart one, they did show that the people in the Miami Heart one, I, I'm pretty sure they had the issues, but they were not carnivores. The ones, the carnivore ones did not. Right. And the, this is still ongoing. Yeah, they don't know. Like if, if somebody else, I know there's people that are like, like there's a little bit of nervousness with me with this, even yeah. though I'm still doing it. There is, obviously, if we totally, completely had no issues whatsoever we wouldn't be at the doctors right now yeah but we're here to you know do our due diligence what if what if one of us has it what if all of a sudden the mind's like yeah you you the doctor's right you're not going to be around for <laughs> much longer i mean like if there's proof of that because i'm sure there's some people that you know carnival won't work right i mean it won't work you know like it, there could be some adverse things for some oh people. like if they do have a if this cholesterol is sticking yes if they okay if, got if that, they're not doing zero carb carnivore then it can be sticky or they would have a you know a medical or a family a um, familial mm -hmm. yeah so you gotta like if you, you already to, have a susceptibility to being <coughs> having cholesterol we know we don't have this. the familial because our doctor even told us like you guys don't have that or you would have known that already yeah but anyways it's it's so Steve's like said, coming over to the carbohydrate section with me. Come it's just on. coming on over. And I'm only having a little bit. I'm having some bell pepper. Mm. I'm having maybe some nuts. I'm having well, I gotta some schedule my, different things. My I don't know how long you have to do it. I don't think you Two have to... weeks is all it takes. And you you test again in two weeks and your cholesterol could drop 400 points just by eating a sweet potato. That would that would blow their minds. I know. Well, they did it with Oreos too. So Yeah, they did it with a sleeve of Oreos and the... And, Nick Norowitz has dropped. And that's not like to normal level or whatever. And here's the thing. I'm not like you know like a hundred percent against carbohydrates. I was just like We've been so sold on how great carnivore so is and we feel yeah. great. But to be honest, since I've added some carbs in and I don't think I've added enough. We're supposed to add fifty to hundred <coughs> grams fifty to hundred grams of carbs to do the experiment, I guess. I'm having hardly any, but I feel I think I feel even better with with some There's so no, yeah then that's what you got to do i mean it's i don't know we and it's nice it's nice, a, it's nice a, having uh, sauerkraut on my steak <laughs> and you can have whatever you want yeah i'm just i'm not doing any bread or grains or anything like that i did try oatmeal once but i feel like i blew up from it like all of a sudden it just was like wow i gained like five pounds or something crazy yeah. and it's because it retains in there but um like sweet potatoes um vegetables we're just going to have them back in because we did fine with them before when we had them. We're just not going to go with all that oatmeal. and um, Sweet potatoes and vegetables? Whatever it might be. We're going to mix it up a little bit. Like we're going to have a sweet potato one day for dinner. Oh, yeah. A little when one. Is my and test? then the next we'll do some broccoli. <coughs> you know. When is my test? Um, it's pretty I really far. don't know. There was so, so many tests and things that I wrote in there. None of them seem like they were for you. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I got to do a blood panel. And then yeah. we got to go, and I'm going to do the, the contrasting thing, see if I got some sticky stuff in me. And then, uh, yeah, and then just go from there, I guess. But that, that the <laughs> We told you you'd bring you along with our adventure. Yeah. This could be what you guys are facing, too, if you're doing carnivore. You never know. Um, if, if you're you a lean go, mass. If you're, if you're doing it with your, your wife or husband, then if you guys could go in there together, it's, that's the way to do it. Because you just both get it out of the way. <laughs> Let this guy be like our girl, whoever your cardiologist is. I wish we had weird. a different cardiologist. I wish I was really hoping we had one that was totally familiar with this and was like, okay, no big deal. Let's proceed this way. Or let's do these tests, these certain ones, or whatever. Yeah. But. He was very. I, I, it was like, now I know what it feels like if you go to your doctor and they say you're going to die. That's how I, that's what just happened to me is that, Hey, you're going to die. You don't have cancer, but you're going to die 
because you're going you're to not going to be around to find out. Yeah, you're not going to be around to find out how how this thing's going to work. And I know it's right. not true. I I know it's not. It's I fine. I do too, but when somebody but, says it to you, <clears throat> yeah, a cardiologist a doctor specialist. says it to you. Yes, a heart doctor says that to you. Who doesn't even you still, know what about anything about this whole yeah. phenomenon or the I know there's people that have been doing this long enough to where they're like super confident that they wouldn't care if theirs is 5,000 right. cholesterol. They don't care. But does it but hurt to lower it a little? No. Is it, you're still, you still have, I have decades of being indoctrinated into our, our standard American diet medical system. Oh. So that we, you know, if a doctor tells you, got to do this. You know, you just go, okay, but to have one say you're not going to be around <laughs> is like, With it, no joking. there's a piece of, there's a part in the back of your brain going, damn, I hope I'm doing the right thing right now. And the look on his face when he's like, when we said, no, oh, was, not on a statin, no. He, he was It was very, like, what, why would you not take one? We we're like, well, we could just incorporate and add some carbohydrates and drop it down. Yeah. <laughs> why would we take a statin? Yeah. And we, if told, we could just eat some carbs. Yeah. Some guy did it with Oreos. Yeah, we and didn't bring just, up the Oreos. He was, yeah, I did. Oh, he did. Yes, I said oh. some guy did it with Oreos, and then he had this, just the look on his face. He's not a bad guy. He's concerned about his patients, but he is just like. The weird thing though is, is for how concerned he was, he wasn't concerned enough. Isn't that weird? Like if his mind to really tell was me I'm blown. I'm not going to be around. Is pretty concerned. I know, but he, he didn't like go, hey, you guys, I really oh, need yeah. to discuss this with you. You guys aren't realizing how important this is or whatever. It was just like, okay, whatever you want to do. I think it was made clear pretty fast by us that... Or joking around? No, just the whole like, no, no. Because when you, he had talked, we're both in there together, but he puts us on the fancy chair like he's being interrogated. Just to listen to hearts and, and things. So yeah, I was on there first and he's asking questions, Yeah, you know, like... Okay, there's statins, injections. No, no. And then Steph gets up there. And he goes, so no, no. <laughs> no other medication? No uh, uh, medication. No statins or no. You go, no, nothing. So he had already been, okay, this is this is what you guys Yeah, I'm not against him. But why would I do it if I can just you have a sweet it. potato? I'm against him <laughs> if I don't need him. Yeah, I would rather do it through diet. If I can have a sweet potato for two weeks and my heart, my cholesterol can go to normal. So I got to schedule my my blood and then eat sweet potato or whatever it's going to be for two weeks, like one a day for two weeks. Well, that's just so what one of the one. people has dropped 400 points. It can be whatever. That's a lot of points. I know. 400 points has dropped so just that, by eating a small sweet potato once a day. So, so, so if I do, like, I will do this. And then if that doctor sees that. How can he not be like. Doesn't that mean something? Yes. Like, uh, doesn't, isn't that like. Why am I pushing statins on everybody? Eating more carbs is not going to help people that don't no. have this, though, by no, the way. Go on. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. you're not already, at all. If you're already eating carbs and you eat more carbs, it's not going to lower your cholesterol. You. you have to be this weird We're going phenotype. from zero carbs. Yeah, plus we're lean. You have lean to mass, be lean mass, respond. and you have to have this weird thing where your body is hyper responsive. Like our triglycerides. Because when he first started reading this stuff, like he's, he's reading that, and he's going, that's good. Because there was things on my. My blood work that he was saying was good. And then when he saw that number, he was like, oh. And, and hers is way higher than mine. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm not going to be around. You're, you're, gonna, you're not you even going to make it out of the office. My total cholesterol is 625. <laughs> <clears throat> Man, anyways. So. We survived um, COVID. Autoimmune disorder survived COVID over yeah. here. We've been worried about that the whole time. We didn't do the vaccine. We've never had COVID. Yeah. Everybody we know has had COVID. And we kept thinking, how are we doing this? How are we not getting COVID? Right. It wasn't like we wasn't around people or around grandkids and, you know, grandkids all that are stuff. in public school. Yeah. Never had it. Got it. We both get it. And it was, it was just horrible. But it was horrible. Yeah, yours was worse than mine, I think, too. Sore, but I had sore his sore throat was, was really so bad, bad, and I had the lack of um, taste and smell. I got yeah. that. So, we're, but I didn't get the sore throat. I felt like I had one, but it couldn't feel it. And it, it's one of those things where I don't feel things. So maybe I'm maybe it do. But I've had so many sore throats in my yeah. day. 
they didn't have it so i started to become meat averse during this too i was trying yes. to eat but i started to be like i can't eat meat so i started eating a lot of ham and scrambled eggs he wasn't and, eating man steak. that was good we yeah, can still have all that you want yeah i do like ham and scrambled Let's eggs have some for breakfast that's what we're gonna go do right now because i don't have much breakfast this and you're gonna have a bell pepper a red a no. red bell pepper with it <laughs> don't you can't cram this down. I haven't had A couple carbs. of slices is nothing. No, but you can't just start. I'm not going to just start cramming carbs like that. No. I got to pick. I'm going to be specific about you it. You said you wanted blueberries. Actually, when I, with COVID, I all of a sudden started craving blueberries. Like I lost my appetite and then I started craving blueberries and I have had no cravings the whole time we've been doing this diet and who knows how long it is now. I think we started in June or something. But you know what I think it is? I didn't yeah. want to tell you this. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think it's the cough drops. What? Because they probably have honey or something. I have in them. been doing cough drops. A lot of cough drops. Um, they have honey in most of them, you know, echinacea and, it would make hum, me think honey of and stuff. Blueberry, though? No, but I think probably having some sugar in your system. You know how we go through the sugar oh, withdrawals? Crap. It make it probably <laughs> made you start having some cravings. The see, COVID is ruining everything. I know. Anyways, I'll pick a carb. And I got to do that for, and knock my thing down. Yeah. Go get my, you know, we're going to do the CACs, whatever we're, they're going to look at and make sure we don't have plaque floating around in there. And if we don't, mm -hmm. and we lower it, smooth sailing. We'll stick with carnivore forever, just with some carbs. Yeah. I just, I'm fine with that. I still believe in having a lot of cholesterol, a lot of healthy cholesterol that is, you know, the red meat. Yeah. And the... I think it's excellent for your brain, excellent for your body. We feel oh, great yeah. on it. After I added some carbs in, it wasn't like it made a big difference. It didn't change anything. <coughs> and um, yeah. I don't know. We'll just, we just have to adjust as we're going through this experience. But anybody out there, if you're new to this and you're going to your doctor, it will be scary if when you hear them say that. Even though you've, if you've done all this research. You have to have a BMI of like 20 to 22, something like that, depending on if you're Male if or you're a lean mass lower. hyper responder, you have to have excellent um, labs yeah. beforehand, good cholesterol beforehand, and then going low carb. But you also have to be a lean mass. Um, so BMI. 20, we're metabolically 20. healthy. Yeah. So we're metabolically healthy. If and you're, then sky high. If like you're not metabolically charts. healthy, but see, this is the thing. Like, say there's some people that that desperately need to lose weight to live. Okay. Yeah. Like they're, they're extreme, well, they won't get this extreme cases. No, but I'm saying it's irrelevant what their cholesterol level is. That's true. Oh, like you the mean the more important like thing for lean. them is to get to get you know yeah. lose weight. Yeah. And then they can start looking at you know what I mean like mm -hmm. like this little group here that we're in. It's so weird. It is. It and is. And it's very, weird that there's two of us. Yeah, and then trying to tell somebody that hey, other than the COVID we had. We feel great. Mm -hmm. Like that has to mean something. That has to count for something. And he works out even harder than he did before, and it everything's yeah. awesome. Poor you know, COVID. COVID he's not is, dying from his cholesterol no. floating around. I don't have any symptoms of having a. Neither one of us have any symptoms of being unhealthy. I feel great. I feel greater on carnivore than I ever have in my life. So, but. Doctor, my skin's cleared up. The doctor thinks that um, I'm not going to be around. That's so. right. I, he didn't even look at mine at that point. Until well, seen. he knew. He saw yours like, she's dead already. <laughs> <laughs> she's dead already. You're not going to be around. <laughs> she, she's already dead. I can't say anything to her, but you're not going to be around very long. Wow. Anyways, that's where we're at. And we'll once we do our test, to see what's in our blood, if there's any sticky stuff in we'll there. We'll keep you posted. We'll let you know, but as of right now, we're... We're alive. We're alive, no matter what he said. <laughs> <laughs> and we survived COVID, and it's out of the way. I can't tell you how nice it was to go in that waiting room and not be like, I don't want to sit next to anybody in there because yeah. I don't want to catch anything. And it out wasn't. It was like no mask. Nobody has masks on, and we're like, normally I'd be putting a mask on go in there, you know, just to yeah. do it. But no mask, no anything. It's like it's out of the way now, finally. And we survived, and it wasn't bad. I mean, we had... No, we were really sick. It was freaking horrible. Yeah, we were really, really sick. 
But I meant like um, we didn't have to go to the hospital. We didn't have no. the breathing thing. We didn't have. I don't think we're gonna have any long term no, we stuff, were, but maybe we will. Who the knows? worst part of it, the sore throat initially for me was horrendous. Like I would get anxiety because every time I swallowed a little bit, it hurt so bad. Yeah. But once that was passed, it was just sheer exhaustion. Yeah, like when we, we had to walk just, our dog, our legs felt like lead. I yeah. mean, in we were like walking through quicksand. That's how we felt. If you've seen felt. Seinfeld, when George has the summer of George, and he has, to go, he has to go to rehab because of extreme atrophy <laughs> on his legs from extreme <laughs> unuse, that was what we felt like. I mean, exactly. That's how COVID felt to us. Like our bodies you just were completely weak. Your mind would be wanting to do something, and you would just. You, you just when you tried to fluff it. up the love sack, oh my goodness! I, I was like, I was I'm died. not helping. I'm not doing it at all. I don't know why. You I think I exerted right a little bit of energy trying to get that love sack. Maybe twice I tried to do something, and then I just was exhausted. Yes, <laughs> you pay for it. You're like I gotta take weird. a nap now after I did nothing. Yeah, yeah, we were really sick, but we survived it. Yep. All right. Anything new pops pops up before you know my blood tests and. Then we both go get our, whatever these tests we're getting. Yeah. We'll let you guys know. But that's where we're at right now. We beat COVID. And now... Uh, now we get to have some carbs. I don't care one way or another about the carbs. But hey. I got to decide which carbs I'm going to use. Yeah, you can do whatever you carbs. want. Yeah. Because I have been eating onions. I, I made some pickles. I pickled <laughs> onions. I pickled pickles. I had jalapenos in there. I've been eating some of those. It's got to sound good to me, too. Oh, yeah. I've been putting some salsa on my eggs, which is fun. I mean, it's not a lot of carbs. I'm hardly having any, but... Um, Man, your test... What if your test goes from... 625 six, down to like 200 or something? If it drops 400... Yeah, if it drops 400 points... I haven't been having 100 carbs, though. 50 to 100 is a lot is of Is that carbs. what they said they had? 50 to 100. But if I eat a small sweet potato... I mean, I, I could go oh, out of so heart. there's actually a number they ate, they, a number of carbs. 50 to 100 is what they recommend to lower. To lower it down. Which means you're not carnivore anymore. Oh. Wow. But what if you do a smaller amount just over a longer period of time? Like you're doing 50 to 100 a day and, and for how long? And no, I'm makes, probably having like 10, no, 15. No, but when they do that in yeah. order to knock it down. Just two weeks or whatever is when they test it again. Because the, the purpose of me knocking it down is to show my doctor, look, dude. I did that with just eating. Yeah, and then you Not, could keep that. But it still is, you'd be more, you're just not keto after a certain number. I think it's 50. 50 even, carbs, you're not keto any anymore. Yeah, exactly. We're still going to be major protein with some carbs. No sugar right, still, no seed oils, no anything like that. Just going to be, you know, add in some carbs. That's where we're at. Let's go eat. Yeah, we're going to go eat breakfast. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. Bye.